Chef for Newlywed Foods. It is September and September means back to school. So what we wanted to do was give you a few fun and different lunch ideas. Everybody loves a good turkey sandwich, but from time to time you need a change. Next up is a falafel bento box. Uh, falafel is made from chickpeas. So again, healthy for you, a meat alternative, high in protein, and inside the falafel bites is red onion and parsley and garlic and a Newlyweds Foods falafel seasoning. And I paired that with some freshly toasted pita bites and a crisp salad made from red onions and cucumbers and tomatoes. And to spread on top of all that is a whipped feta spread with dill pickle seasoning. So beans. Beans are another great source of protein. Um, over here I made black bean and black eyed pea salad and I tried to incorporate all of the colors of the rainbow. Red and orange tomatoes, some yellow peppers, purple cabbage, green scallions, and there is a soy mango dressing on this salad. You can eat it as it is. You can uh, put it over some spinach for a salad or if you wanted to add just a bit more protein, I went ahead and paired it with a uh, big piece of salmon with just a little bit of salt and pepper. I didn't want to take away from the flavors that were already in the salad. Next up, um, I think this is like my favorite container out of all of them. I think bento boxes are really a lot of fun. And I think it's a lot of fun if you're going to feed kids because then you can put different things in the different com compartments and they can go ahead and play with their food and try different things. So in this particular bento box, I roasted some cauliflower, which is awesome just by itself. And I also added some roasted tofu. So depending on if you like tofu or not, uh, feel free to add chicken or shrimp or just the cauliflower by itself. Um, but this is a pad thai bento box. So I have some carrots and peppers and uh, more of this purple cabbage, which I think is just beautiful and also delicious. And over here we have a Newlyweds pad thai peanut sauce. And um, for a little bit of an extra crunch, I just went ahead and threw some extra uh, fresh peanuts in there. So I think it not only boosts the flavor, but, uh, but definitely the mouthfeel as well. Another really great source of protein and something that is going to keep you full all day long are eggs. So I went ahead and made a few different varieties of egg cups here. Um, these are especially amazing because you can make a whole bunch at once throw them in the freezer, pop out a couple. You can eat them hot, you can eat them cold, uh, you can eat them by themselves. You can incorporate them really into anything that I've showed you here. Um, and they're just so easy. I made a couple different varieties. One is just egg whites with some peppers. Um, a, another one that I have here is just a plain old egg with a little salt and pepper. Crack the egg in, sprinkle a little salt and pepper, bake off and you are good to go. And um, one of my favorite flavor combinations is prosciutto and parmesan so I went ahead it's not a meatless option but I love prosciutto and I think it just should be in everything and I also did a non-meat version uh, with the whole eggs and that has spinach and gruyere cheese and roasted tomatoes and in all of these egg cups I went ahead and did a little sprinkling of smoked paprika in honor of the Newlyweds Foods capsicum harvest time. I really think that smoked paprika adds a lot of um, fun and interesting flavors. So I hope you enjoyed what I've put together for you. Some interesting and delicious back to school or work lunches. If you have any questions or if you would like any more information on any of these recipes, please feel free to reach out and we'll see you guys next time.